Hey guys, Delta Knucky in here, and yes, this is Modern Warfare 3. Don't worry, I know it's hard to tell the difference. Uh, anyways, I'm going to start off with a couple things, one of which is my basement is cold despite my fireplace being on, so despite the uh, the health hazard that is wearing socks on hardwood floors, I'm going to do it anyways. And uh, second, and probably more importantly, am I the only one bored of Modern Warfare 3 already? Like, yes, okay, I've played 30 hours in the first week. Same mistake I made with Black Ops, kind of burning myself out on the game early. But even on Black, o Black Ops, I still felt like playing after after that first 30 hours. Right? I don't feel that with, with Modern Warfare 2. And, you know, I, I do have some ideas as to why that is, and I'm going to talk about them in this commentary. But first off, I'll go over the gameplay for you guys a bit. I'm using uh, a, a class I like to call COG Gameplay after COG Gameplay is himself because I kind of got the idea from him. Uh, it's an ACR with the Specialist Strike Package. I'm going, well actually I'm not sure what I had on, I think I might have had Slate of Hand, Quick Draw, and Dead Silence in this match, but I usually use Sit Rep instead of Dead Silence on this class now since I got Sit Rep Pro. And uh, check the annotation for an easy way to get Sit Rep Pro, that video is by COG Gameplay himself. So, uh, check that out. And speaking of Kyle Gameplay for like the fifth time, he's in this match. So, uh, look out for him. Fuel up. Uh, he's somewhere in here. Anyways, um, like I said, I've got some, some ideas, some well, ideas, just some thoughts as to why Modern Warfare 3 is already, at least for me, a game that is boring. Uh, let's just start with something that I, I kind of, regardless, I don't like really any of the maps in this game, which obviously doesn't help. Uh, what I recently found out is that Raven Software uh, uh, had a hand in designing the maps. I'm not sure if it's just from like the DLC or if it was in the actual game, but it wouldn't shock me if they had a hand in the main, uh, the core multiplayer maps. And I despise Raven Software as a developer. I think they're that they're one of the worst uh, developers of at least of shooters out there right now. And I'm kind of disappointed that they are still standing thanks to Activision's funding and uh, a bunch of other studios have had to close down because of poor conditions in the economy, getting stuck with a licensed game that, you know... I, en I enjoyed the Tron game that came out with the movie Tron Evolution, but it wasn't that great, and Propaganda Games got shut down because of it, and I think there was, uh, I think there was some talent there that they could have actually made a really good game if they weren't stuck with, you know, making a licensed game in, like, six months or whatever it was. But anyways, back... moving back towards the topic... Uh, I, Modern Warfare 3, I don't know, it feels like a step backwards in the progression of the franchise. I know, uh, I know a lot of people didn't like Black Ops. I got pissed at it, at, you know, after about January. A and, well, I will, I will say, and even hell, David Von Hurl admitted himself, while the execution was really nowhere near perfect, Black Ops was a step forward for the franchise because Treyarch tried to innovate. It tried to to separate itself from the previous entries in the series and do something different. COD points, wager matches, uh, create a class 2.0 as they coined it. They tried to move the series forward. Modern Warfare 3, if you take Black Ops out of the picture, it's just a step sideways. It, you know, it's just another, it's Modern Warfare 2.5. We all asked for Modern Warfare 2 to be patched and they did patch it. The thing is, it costs 70 bucks, it's called Modern Warfare 3, and it's about a year and a half too late. But if you include Black Ops in that mix, it really is a step backwards. Because what, what Modern Warfare 3 is doing is it's returning to, you know, Modern Warfare 2, COD 4's tried and true, and now boring formula that really has overstayed its welcome. It's been around for five years. It needs updating. Something needs to be done to update. And that can start with a new engine. Th they're calling the engine used for Modern Warfare 3 IW 5.0. Now, is it really that different than IW 4.0, which was used in Modern Warfare 2? I honestly don't notice anything vastly different, really anything different at all in the graphics. They're, they're just calling it IW 5.0 because they apparently made a couple minimal lighting changes or whatever and oh it's funny here we're uh... brandon was telling everyone don't pick up any more tags because i was close to the uh, moab the moab mother of all bombs i got dropped there so we end up finishing the match off but i'm gonna keep talking because i have i have stuff to say like i was saying i was talking about the the engine uh, the engine 
the Infinity Ward engine is, it's been in use since Call of Duty 2, various versions of it, and see, obviously it's been upgraded, but even then it was based off id Tech 3. That is something that, that software is over a decade old. id Tech 5 is out now. If you've, uh, id Software's latest game, Rage, uses that, and it does have some issues, it's a new engine, but it is so much better. If they could take, like, id Tech 5 and then build a new Infinity Ward engine off that, that would be unreal. But that's that's really where this series needs to start. I think it needs to take a year or two off. It needs a new engine. It needs to refocus. It needs to do, really for the entire first-person shooter genre, what COD 4 did for it five years ago. It needs to just turn everything on its head. It need, it really needs a breath of fresh air. And I think, I think that's where Treyarch has to come in. Because, like I mentioned, they tried to innovate, they tried to change things up with Black Ops, and yes, the execution was far from perfect. But they, that's the thing, they tried. You see them supporting the game post-release, you have, you have the, the actual developers, the designers, you have David Vondahar, the design director, I believe his title is, at Treyarch, on Twitter, communicating with us, playing the game with us, and just recently admitting that they fucked up on Second Chance, and a, a few other things as well. Like, uh, I think one of them was the, the challenge for capping flags for Marathon Pro. He admitted to fucking up on that one, too. And not, not like this, oh, we all fucked up way, you know, encompassing the entire company. He just straight up said, I fucked up. He owned up to the responsibility of that mistake. And that is that is something I love to see in just about anything. Game developers, hockey players, like sport athletes in general. It's just everything. People in general. Oh, being able to own up to your mistakes is uh is huge, I think. So that's that's really my opinion on things. You know, I'm just I'm kinda of bored of Modern Warfare Three. The mystery box will still be around. I'll I'll probably still do the occasional commentary since I'll hop on play some MW3 with my, my real life friends since I kinda have well even hell, even my online friends, you're you're kinda you're turning into real life friends. You're people we we know each other pretty damn well, so I gotta stop using those terms. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I'm kinda I can go play some PS3 for a while. I've burnt myself out on this game. Uh, but yeah, Mystery Box will stick around. That's not going anywhere. Because I'm not prestiging this game. So yeah, you know, like, comment, let me know what you think about what I talked about, about really anything, Modern Warfare 3, any of that stuff. And I'll see you guys Friday with the Mystery Box. Peace.